Imagine someone made you a chicken dish that was so good, so good, you asked them to marry you on the spot. Well, apparently this marry me chicken is all over the internet. Everybody's making it and it is so effing good that the second you have a bite, you're like, please, will you marry me? To, of course, the person that made it. It doesn't put you under a spell and the first person you see, waiter brings it to your table, you take a bite and you glance up, you're like, will you marry me? No, it's the person that made it for you. And I've been looking at this going, I don't know about this. And then Max said, hey, have you heard of this thing called marry me? I go, everybody's heard of it. He goes, well, let's make it. So I cried for a half an hour, I didn't want to do it. And I said, fine, I'm gonna do it. Two little changes, I think, two. Yeah, just two changes. It's actually, it's pretty easy. Have you ever had chicken in a lovely little uh, cheesy cream sauce? Of course you have. Well, that's what this is. The only real difference is there's sun-dried tomatoes in it that generally I can't stand. So I'm gonna make an exception today. And we're gonna add one thing in the beginning to make it better. And somebody will cry, but who cares? This is for you and me, us, all of us, okay? Here we go. So of course, Marry Me Chicken's gonna have chicken in it. This is about a pound and a half. These are thighs, use breast, use le I don't care what you use, just use something. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna season with our BFF. Each little piece, like this. And when we've done that, it's gonna go into this flour here. And then, stand by, take it off, we put it on here. We do this till this whole stack is done. And the last guy goes in, and we're done. Now, we can start cooking, actual cooking. The first cooking in a regular batch of Mary Me Chicken would be cooking the chicken that we just put in flour. But we're gonna start with some pancetta. Why chance? For the fat. And the flavor, yes. That is flavor. That is flavor. We start with the pancetta because all the grease will come out and then anything that goes in this pan after the pancetta will get the benefit of this fatty deliciousness. So we're gonna cook this just until it starts to get a little crispy. And that should only take a couple minutes. Oh yeah, it's almost there. When it looks like this, let's take it out. And by the way, if you didn't have pancetta, you could use bacon. Basically bacon, but this has been cured with salt and pepper. Bacon, just salt. So let's leave the pancetta grease in here and add a couple things. One will be about a tablespoon of butter. The other about a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll get this all mixed beautifully and we'll start cooking our chicken. The goal at this point is simple, just to brown it. Oops. So get in as many pieces, oh, why am I doing that? Get in as many pieces as you can. If you have to do two batches, do two batches. Nobody will care. Nobody's gonna cry about it. And the last guy goes in like this, two left. Ah, it doesn't matter. So a few minutes aside until you get a little golden brown, flip it over, do the same, and finish off the batch. Beautiful. All right, a couple more minutes, take them out. All right, chicken's done, out of the pan. We add some butter, a little bit more olive oil, and one small onion, sliced. Now we'll just cook these until they're softened, three, four minutes. Just, you know, slightly translucent. All right, next up to these gorgeous onions. Remember, they've cooked now in pancetta fat and the chicken grease and oh boy. But now it's time for some garlic. So three cloves like that. Let them get fragrant and we move on. Right, we now add the rest. First will be a tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay, maybe that was a tablespoon and a half. A tablespoon of Dijon, give this a little mix. A couple other things. A cup of chicken broth. Mmm. We're not at the marry me stage yet. We're at the uh, let's date stage. A cup of heavy cream, beautiful. Some seasonings, about a teaspoon of dried thyme. A half to one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I lean towards the more. Let's give this a mix. We're gonna add some Parmesan. About a third to a half a cup. Nice. Stirring away. Remember our pancetta? Of course you do, so don't forget it. That would have been my move. Get all the way to the end and have no pancetta. Bubbles away a little bit. And now three ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. So these I just cut in half. Remember I said I'm not the hugest sun-dried tomato fan. If I'm gonna use them, I wanna make sure a huge bite's not gonna piss me off. So these guys I just sliced in half. And these are in oil, which of course will make them better. Speaking of the oil, let's just give it a little. And now this is just gonna simmer away for, ooh, I don't know, three, four minutes. Just to let the flavors marry. Get that? Okay, nothing to do until then. 
And with everything looking amazing, we'll dump in some chopped up basil. Oh my goodness. Give it a quick stir. Then our chicken makes a, a visit back in. So just nestle it, just nestle it. And one more. Now let's just put a little bit of this on top. Oh my goodness. This point, all we need to do is let this heat through. The chicken is almost finished cooking, but a couple minutes in here and everything will only get better. Then we're there. Well, it's time. Oh gosh, boy, is this time. Boy, is it time. Let's get one of our guys on the plate. A little extra sauce and one of my dreaded sun-dried tomatoes and we bite. And voila. Oh, it looks very pretty, doesn't it? Very pretty. So should we have a little bite? Mmm. I like the way it looks. It's thigh, so you know it's gonna be super tender. And it's time. What do we think? It's delightful. All right, it's actually delicious. I take back what I said about sun-dried tomatoes because that component of it is fantastic. Do you like the pancetta? Marry me chicken? Bit of a stretch. Fuck me chicken. Now that's what it should have been called. That's gonna get the result. But marrying, that's a pretty big commitment over a bite of chicken, don't you think? Mm. But you're gonna like it. Recipe below, make it. Don't make the same thing all the time if you're new. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hit the subscribe button, give us a like. And if you want us to make something in particular, put it in the comments below. Make a comment below. Because unlike some of these other uh, cooking channels on YouTube, we're here for you, not us. We are here for you. Right, lads? Right. right. Boys say so, so must be true.